Uh, hello, my name is um, Peter Haig and today I'm going to be showing you how to work with uh, motion capture data um, you know, using uh, BVH files. Uh, I'll show you what motion capture data looks like. This is one uh, I did earlier. Well, not earlier, about um, two weeks ago I think I did this one. Um, right. Um, this model and this one that, uh, this is not my model, this is from um, BlenderCookie.com. I just added um, the uh, motion capture data to it, you know, rigging it. And I'm going to be showing you um, all the uh, techniques or what I did to make uh, this. Yeah. Right. Let's start. First, you need to go to um, BlenderCookie.com. Um, go down here to uh, the models. Cause this is uh, one of the best models I think. This you've done a really good job on this one. Right. Um, where is it? There. This one here by uh, Jonathan. Williamson, yeah. Right, this is the exact same model what I was using in that. I just added um, a subdivision service on the top of mine. So you want to download that one. What was that one? So mine's here. Model. Must. Um, this one here, but I've only got it there. So drag that onto your desktop. And then open that one and we're not doing it like this one so um i don't like this this is i think this is from 2.49 this setup but we don't want it so we have to file export um obj uh selected only and then just click your desktop or wherever you know you want to uh, like put it, you can put around uh, put it in do like uh, a file to make it more organised. So export that one, close that one. And now we'll be opening it through um, this one. So you delete the base cube, file, import, OBJ, and then. You need to load this, not MTL, the um, OBJ. I think that's just um, the material I think that stands for. Not too sure. Just open that one. Um, import. And there it is. Right. First thing what I do, do you know this center, uh, is it called a pivot point or something? Um, you want it like in the middle. So go to options transform no not transform is it oh I just messed up on one minute something's gone wrong on it transform where is it this shouldn't have happened it should have been there. Right, if you get the, I'm going to open it in the uh, salad uh, branch instead. Let me just see. Yeah, right. You need that one there. Origin to geometry. So I would recommend going to um, graphical.org for um, the latest um, 2.5 builds. But um, download the um, summer uh, Google Summer of Code, I think it is. Yeah, the salad branch because the salad is um, it's got you know like it integrates um, all the Google Summer of Code into the main uh, like hub. But that hub is the uh, salad one. 
if that makes sense. So you import U, X, select U, select your model, transform, there that's perfect in the middle of that. Right now, um, I'm going to show you where to get your, um, your um, what is it, old, no, BVH files I should say, yeah. So you you go to this website here, right? Uh, and if you want to, you can either pay free models. Um, I think these are like, you know, packs. Uh, yeah. Or um, underneath, you can get your free models. This drunk one is uh, funny. This one, but. Um, You'll be able to do that one. Go to just show you. Yeah, get. I think I've added some new ones. Yeah, right. I've already got mine, but first you need to um, create an account. Yeah, and then click the free one here. Right. And then search for whichever one um, you want. The like, uh, what did it say? Four thousand free models, or free um, motion capture data. So you pick um, whichever one you want. But do you know go for an easy one that fits like a walk cycle, or um, the moonwalk or something? Because I'm gonna be showing you um, the moonwalk one. Right, one minute. Let me log in. Why do I log in now? Log in. Right, log in. Log in in success. Right, um. Let me try to find it. Where is it? Moonwalk here. Right, you, and sometimes you can do like preview it like this, and there's the main work. Right, we'll stop that a minute. Um, the matrix drunk. That's a really funny one. That one. Um, right, you need see all these here. You need a BVH file. Um. I'll go with that one and then add to cart. Yep, and it's up here. And then just check out. Um, you have to re log in again, um, accept and download. And click this one and download. And then File name. It's a lot of clicking. Middles, but it's not funny when it's done this one. Right. So and look on. I've already got that on my desktop, so don't put that um wherever you want. Do you know, you'll be um <coughs> so you'll be using it. Do you know shortly. So file import motion capture B V H right and then it's um walk zero seven moonwalk click that one but first before you, you click that go down here to scale <coughs> so um put point one enter and then if you want it you know to loop um, that means when he's done the um, what does it when he's done you know like the um, animation is you want it you know to keep looping back on itself you just click that one right then you press um, import
Right, here's our um, armature now. Right, first you need to hold, uh, is it sh no, control and drag um, left on this timeline. And keep dragging it. So it's about 750, um, I think it's 748 frames. So 748, even right. Yeah. Right, first, see how this here is not um, in the middle, so we're going to do what, let me add the camera, right, see um, this, how it's not in the middle, so first, you go to options, transform, uh, origin to geometry, so then it's in the middle then, yeah, right, um, one minute. Did you wanna let me shrink him down a bit? I'm 90 degrees. Right, put him about there. And then, if you wanna see the like, do you know the animation? Now you just click that one. And then he's walking. So we're gonna attach that to the um, the um, 3D model now. Right. So you press 7, 5 to turn it into top uh, of a graphic, I think it pronounces it, and then 1 to put it in the front um, front view. You push it, um, one minute. then you have to get it you know, over your model, but click this box here and click X ray so you, you, know, you can see through it. Click 3 scale it out a bit more um, click um, object data and you have to click um, re reset position so it goes in you know, to the um, stand up position drag him to there right Push him up. Tab into um, the um, edit mode, and then you want to grab. To click this one here, the uh, X mirror. So everything what you do on one side will be mirrored on the, um, you know, like the opposite side. Because if we didn't do, um, you know, that transform, uh, what was it called? That geometry thing before. It'll start messing up, really. And we don't like that. I just messed up on it. Why is it mirroring? Now it's mirroring. Right. So you want it, you know, dead straight, get it more or less at the back of the um, eel. Yeah. And then you press 1 to put it, you know, like front. Um, Front view, yeah. Click that one, two, 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 and drag it a bit. This m can mess up this, like he's walking on air, do you know? Sometimes it messes up for some reason. Right, so that's there. Drag that one down, and then. I think that's the that's the drag that one up. Drag, whoa, double select because there's two these um, circle things, you know, in between each other. So you grab that one, pull it. I think pull that one up, but pull this one. I don't know if you pull that one up or pull that one down. We'll find out in a minute when we um, put it into the, uh, po the um, poles um, position. Yeah. When this works, it's uh, really, really good. It puts like a smile on your face when you actually just see it working. Yeah.
Right, now you go into free. Right. And then you grab, see these arms here? These have to be, you know where these arms are. But the legs, keep, never touch them. Or do you know, like the back? Because you have to keep that um, as straight as possible. As you just start bending it, um, he starts walking, you know, upwards. So it looks like he's walking on air. It, 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 um, how can this one? it will look like he's walking on air. Do you know when we've done it here, but it won't look it as much. Like in that video, then um, it wasn't actual on the floor. It was like hovering, do you know, like just a bit off um, the floor. Yeah. Ah, that looks that looks good. That one. What does it? Drag that one back a bit. Right. Time for the truth. Right now you tab out, tab into um, object mode. Select the um, the um, the human first, and then the rig by holding shift. Like that one, yeah. Then when you got them all selected, control P, and then um, load with automatic weights. Right. Yep. And then you reset. No, not reset. You pause um, the pause. One minute. Take this one off of the X one. Yeah. Pause position. It is a bit deformed a bit, but we'll see now. Select, double select them all. We'll try to make it smaller a bit. There, shift S. And then, see that, that cursor there, you want it uh, in the middle. So center cursor. Had a floor for him. That'll do. The far experiment. He's offering above the ground a bit, isn't he? Right, we'll see it in a minute anyway. And then you click play. And see his hand waving around just a bit. See ya there. And that's how oh yeah, you. Um, do let me add um one minute let me just add some some division service to him and then first we'll play it you know so his toes go through the floor and then we'll rise the floor where his toes go through the floor like that so all we need to do then is push it down a bit I don't know how to fix that. But you're not going to notice it really. But that's not the point. You want to see the armature. Because that point you through just a bit, isn't it? Right, let's just play it. And that's um, how you do that. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good, that, isn't it? Right. So that's how you um, you know, that's explained um, into not like great detail, but I think that's explained into you know pretty much good detail on how to apply motion capture data into a um, blender onto a model to get what I've got here. If you need any um, any more help with it, um, put it in the comment section, you know, like um, below, and um, I'll do more like an in-depth video for you if you want. Right, thank you.